Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brian and Jack from Simple Man's Comics, amplifying your comic collection through community and integrity. We do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos on this channel, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. And in this video, we're going to give you five issues to bolo that's be on the lookout for while you're out there hunting in your comic community, starting with Spider Man 2, number one. That's right. Now, this has been a very popular book with the Simple as Comics Patreon family members. This features the first appearance of the 616 Miles Morales, as well as the evil Miles Morales doppelganger, who later becomes Ultimatum. Now, this book has seen heat before and has risen in value and at times has traded very well, but it's started to cool off. And it's that cooling off that has made this book kind of a tasty buy right now. Also, this is still a book that's available a lot of times on shelves for cover price. And in those back issue bins, those variants are often below ratio. This is one to be on the lookout for. I'd be looking for that 1 in 50 Tedesco cover or that cover A. But my favorite cover art is that 1 in 10 variant. I'm going to throw in a bolo audible, as they say. And I also like issue number two has a gorgeous Gabrielle Del Auto cover. Just because I'm a Gabrielle Del Auto fan, I pick that up when I see it out there, especially for cheap. And then at number four, no stranger to this channel. We've talked about this book before. But this is one definitely look out for. And we're talking War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one. Now, this book got a lot of acclaim when it first came out and shot up in value, but has dropped quite a bit because word got out that Marvel had doubled the orders of every LCS that had put in their initial orders at no additional cost. And that has scared off a lot of collectors. But this issue has so much going for it. We're talking about the first appearance of Swordmaster. We're talking about the first appearance of Crescent and EO. We're talking about the first appearance of Wave. We're talking about the first appearance of Arrow. These characters have seen future fight one shots. These characters have seen mini series already. And we've seen the character Wave really get a large cult popular fan base. And it's for this reason and the fact that we know the MCU is headed towards these kind of Asian-driven storylines that these, this book and these characters are ones to be on the lookout for in the future. Now, there's also a 1 in 25 variant, as well as a connecting cover that you can be sure to look out for. But it's that cover A, that cover that got doubled, that I think is going to be the steal. We've seen lots on eBay going 10 copies for $25. I've seen copies in back issue Discount bins, $2 and $1. This is a book to be on the lookout for. I agree. Definitely one to pick up, stash it away in the long box, short box, and then just let it sit there. Coming in at number three, we have Champions number 22, which is the first appearance of Braun. Now, some people might be asking, Jack, who the heck is Braun? That's right, Brian. We're not talking WWE Strowman. We're talking about Totally Awesome Hulk or Amadeus Chow's new code name, Braun. And this issue is the debut of that new code name, as well as a new costume and kind of a new look. This is also kind of a, a two for one deal because we also get the first appearance of the new Iron Heart armor for Riri Williams. And that is the armor that she is still wearing to this day. And probably the armor you will see show up on the big or small screen should Riri Williams ever end up that way. This has not just a first print, but there's also a second print that is tough and you should be on the lookout for both of those. Right. Champions is one of those books that I like because a lot of times I think it's under the radar right now. I think eventually they might actually be your Avengers team because they're younger, that they're marketed that way. You hear a lot about young Avengers books right now, but who knows? You might even get something where you have a show like it's called Young Avengers, but they're actually starting to use characters from Champions. Either way, fantastic read. It's always good, but I've enjoyed it, stuck with it. So it's definitely a title I pick up, and this is one to be on the lookout for as well. Then the number two back issue to be on the lookout for this week is Deadpool number six. And why is that, Jack? Well, this is coming out of the four series, Brian, and this is the first appearance of Deadpool 2099. Now, if you've been paying attention at all to the upcoming publishing schedule, you know that 2099 titles are coming back and coming back with a vengeance. We just talked about on the last call show that 2099 alpha book, and right on the cover, you may have noticed, is Deadpool 2099. This was once a hot back issue and now has really depressed in value. And it's one that I regularly see in back issue bins. It's time probably to go ahead and grab these and ride that 2099 wave. And I think the time to do that is right now. And then coming in at number one for the back issue bolo this week is Contest of Champions number one. Why is that? 
Well, this was a hot series, Brian, when it first came out in 2015, specifically this issue because of the first appearance of White Fox. White Fox appears on two covers, the Ron Lim connecting cover, as well as the one in 25 U variant. Now that U variant has seen its day and it's been real hot and at times can still sell well. But the biggest thing is it's just not selling often at all these days. And for that reason, I think a lot of dealers will be ready to move on from that book. And you may be able to find it in back issue bins and you may be able to get a good deal from a dealer at a convention or at an LCS. And White Fox is important because she's a character that's right along with those new Agents of Atlas characters, as well as we recently saw that Future Fights one shot for White Fox. So all of the reasons that we talked about for that War of Realms, New Agents of Atlas, the heat behind those characters applies right here. And then the book I would really be on the lookout for, although she's not on the cover, is that cover A, because I see that book in dollar bins all the time. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of the first appearance in that book. White Fox. I'm more like to see the first appearance of Red Fox. So there you have it. There is five modern Marvel back issues to be on the lookout for when you're shopping at your LCS or hitting those convention long boxes. This isn't a one and done video. This is now going to be a weekly series. We're doing five back issues. They might be themed. They might be random books, but it will be on the channel weekly immediately after the Thursday night Bolo show. So make sure you click that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified of all future content that releases on this channel.